Today I want to take a look at how to block malware with your local host file. So here we have a good article from How to Geek that talks about the concept and kind of using your local host file to block any malware or negative websites. You don't want to not only browse interactively, but you don't want software in the background to be able to access potentially, you know, phishing or spear phishing and email attacks where you you receive a, a link that you accidentally click or are viewing an email and the image, the image is sourced from a, a negative website that has some malware coming in. There are a lot of different um, angles for how malware can enter your PC. And the host file is a network level function, which is a lower level than your application. And by going to a lower level to apply security, you're kind of getting down to the, the transport of network traffic and just turning off any communication with that website. So that could be from an installed program, viewing an image in an email, clicking a link on a web page, clicking a link in a chat session, no matter what the application, you can block certain things at the network level. So here we have an example of how to block Facebook by adding four zeros with the Facebook domain name to your host file, and you can no longer view Facebook. Now to get a list of well, which websites are negative, which ones have malware, and where do we go for that sort of thing, here on GitHub, Stephen Black has a, a project going with a host file that's pretty comprehensive and was actually updated just, just today. So that's, uh, that's incredible. And to get that host file and go ahead and do something like a, a download for it, and there we are. It's a pretty large file. So, you know, your browser might lock up. The scroll bar gets pretty tiny. Doing a file save is not always uh, available with these. I mean, if it is, then great. If not, then you know we could do something else. But yeah, here we're able to go ahead and do a save. And I'm just going to put that down in my temp folder. Beautiful. Over here we have Notepad++. And we'll so go ahead and open. There we are. So we're looking at ctemphost.txt. Uh, last updated January 5th, uh, and there are 39,000 domains in here. This is an incredibly large file, 42,000 lines of text. That's a giant host file. So to apply this to our system, we want to open the real host file. So for that, we're going to navigate over to C, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, slash host. Mine's currently empty. We'll take everything from the Stephen Black file. It does have a link to you know, where to download the latest. We'll go ahead and paste it in, and we'll hit Save. And there we are. So we have now updated C, Windows, System32, Drivers, ETC, host. Uh, with the Stephen Black file that has you know, 40,000 plus uh, lines in text. And that, that's going to help you out a lot, where you, you have something that can you know, protect, your app, protect your machine against different types of intrusion, different types of malware. Um, and it's pretty comprehensive. You could test it by trying to open some of these websites, and they shouldn't open anymore. Um, but it's great to see that it's current as well, that it, this was updated today, January 5th. So that's how you can set your host file to better protect your PC. Thanks for watching.